Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is a warm day here in the middle of winter in Calgary, and it made me want to get out and shoot with the new lens I recently got with my S5 II. If you're like me, when you first come over to a new camera system, getting new lenses can be a little bit expensive. And sometimes the kit lenses that come with these great cameras aren't necessarily as great as the camera themselves. So with that in mind, today we're going to be doing a review of the 20 to 60 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 kit lens by Panasonic. This is a full frame L mount lens. I know it's got a variable aperture, but I've had great results with it thus far. So let's get out to the mean streets of Calgary during golden hour here, and we'll put this lens to the test, both in terms of low light as well as well lit scenarios. Let's get going. <laughs> Nice lens cap, great photo. Idiot. So we've got our 2060 now mounted on the S5 II. I just threw a variable ND on it. Aside from that, I'm not gonna use the mist filter or anything like that, because I just wanna get it as natural as we can. As we can see, it is golden hour here in the city, so it's looking really nice. So everything you're gonna be seeing today was shot in 4K in a three by two aspect ratio, and the photos are gonna be shot in manual as well. It'd be really cool to see how this lens does, because you know, I think a lot of kit lenses get a bad rep from different brands, but I've had really great results with this lens so far. So it's gonna be neat seeing how it does in a variety of different lighting scenarios in Chinatown, which is where we're gonna go now. One of the things I'm really loving about this lens so far is how short the pull is to go from 60 to 20. It's like super quick, it's not sticky, I'm loving that. And it's also not so tight though that you can't do it with, you know, minimal effort from your hands. So, you know, I'd say definitely the build quality of this lens for it being a kit lens is feeling pretty solid thus far. And all right, so now this is the vlogging test with the lens. Uh, golden hour is kind of not great right now, but you know, it's, it's still pretty good. You know, we can definitely get the tower in the background there, but yeah, this is handheld vlogging, just using the uh, Ulanzi wireless mic. We'll be doing a review of that pretty soon. Got all the stabilization, of course, turned on. We're at 20 mil, it's showing 3.7 right now on the aperture. <laughs> I gotta say, I just love shooting down here in this uh, part of the city. It's just super fun. I mean, just look at all these colors. Oh, sorry. Lots of people as well, of course, but uh, it's just a super cool area. Um, it's kind of in the uh, east end of downtown. It's just in the Chinatown. It's just, yeah, it's a really cool old part of Calgary that, you know, it's really fun to take photos of. But anyways, light's starting to get a little bit lower. So let's see what else we can get with this lens. All right, so this sign is where we will be doing our long exposure. It's a little bit too bright out right now, so we will come back here in just a little bit once it gets a little bit darker, and then we can uh, sit up and I'll show you guys the settings I'm using to get the photo. Then we'll see if the photo actually turns out.
is uh, definitely lower light out. The sun has definitely fully gone down. And this is what this lens looks like. All right, so now we've made it to Chinatown once again, and now we are standing behind that amazing red sign. So let's get on to the S5 II and let's go into the settings that you can use for getting long expos with a variable aperture kit lens. All right, so let's get the camera turned on and let's get it kicked all the way over to manual so we can have lots and lots of control. All right, so now we are in manual. We are on the F14 mark. Here comes a car. Let's see if we can get a good photo. Three, two, one. The uh, 20 to 60 is definitely a great lens, great in different lighting scenarios. Obviously, it's not the fastest lens you're ever going to use. The 20 to 60 focal range on a full frame camera is awesome. And I'd have to say, uh, for the price, it is very reasonable and you get great results. That being said, you can usually find it online, brand new, right around that five to $600 Canadian mark. And if you want to buy it used, you might be able to get it for right around that 250 to $300 mark. One of the places I found it was the cheapest used was at Map Camera. I've got a link below if you'd like to check that out. Or if you'd like to support the camera store here in Calgary, I've also got a link if you want to get a brand new lens. But I would love to hear from you folks what you thought of this lens. Is this going to be something you're going to buy for your L mount camera or is it a pass? Either way, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Anyways, folks, let's wrap this one here. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views, do it for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video super duper soon. Have a great one. <laughs>